So first, Nate, thank you so much for giving me some of your time. It is an of honor course. speaking with you. So firstly, can you just talk about what it was like the bringing this to life and the, the goals you were hoping to accomplish with this? Yeah, I mean, look, this is a super ambitious film for a lot of reasons, obviously, uh, 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 dealing with the loss of, of both the person in Chadwick Boseman and the character of T'Challa, introducing the amazing world of Namor and the Talo Kanil, um, from a purely production standpoint, mounting a production of this size with the amount of underwater photography we did, all of it, uh, introducing Riri Williams as Ironheart, all of these things uh, were incredibly challenging and, and incredibly rewarding. Especially just, just piggybacking off that, can you talk a little bit more about bringing Namor to life and specifically when you guys decided, when you knew you were gonna make that part, uh, such a part of the story like early on? I mean, Ryan has loved uh, Namor for a long time. I think even at the end of the first movie was talking about ideas for this film. And then it was about what's the best way to bring this character to the MCU. Obviously one of the foundational characters in Marvel Publishing. Um, and Ryan really wanted to anchor him and the mythology of his world into something that felt really real and grounded, hopefully in the way that Wakanda feels real and grounded because of all the touchstones from continental Africa that we used to build that world. I think figuring out how to anchor in a more story in Mesoamerica and Mayan culture, mm -hmm. both in the past and the present, uh, for us made it feel more of a piece of this film and allowed uh, for us also to showcase the beauty of the culture um, uh, in all facets. And speaking of just Riri, I, going into this, I, I thought, you know, maybe it would just be a little cameo, yeah. a little teaser, like setting up, but she played such an essential role in this, so yeah. what what made you guys decide to do that and and, 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 and explore her character a bit more? I yeah, no, she's, a, again, a character Ryan Coogler loved and, and sort of pitched to us as being a part of the movie and then really figured out a way to weave her into the fabric of the narrative so she became an integral part of what was happening. And I think seeing Wakanda through the eyes of a, a young, brilliant black woman was a cool contrast to how Killmonger saw Wakanda and the mm. expectations he had versus the expectations she had. We also thought it was really interesting to see a brilliant uh, woman from America and a brilliant woman from Wakanda kind of team up. Because um, like, I think there was a famous meme out of probably Age of Ultron, Science Bros with Tony Stark and Bruce Banner. Yeah. But like to see these two women who also loved science sort of team up and and, and and, and kind of figure out the solution to some problems we thought was really fun. So we had Rihanna making her her, her, her <laughs> debut after six years. Like, yeah. And when that song hit, just just in that placement. So firstly, yeah. how did that collaboration come about? And, yeah. and how did it lead to y'all placing it in that particular moment? Ryan uh, uh, sort of was writing the song with Thames, a, a fantastic Nigerian performer. Um, uh, and so we knew uh, where it could fit narratively. And, and at the same time, Ryan had a been in conversation with, with Jay Brown and, and Jay-Z and, and obviously the new of Ludwig Gorenson's work both as a composer but as a producer and I think uh, uh, Rihanna had seen the first trailer and was interested in sort of collaborating so you know you, you hope and dream one day you could work with somebody like Rihanna and, and certainly uh, she didn't need to go back to the studio just for this film but I think she felt inspired and, and we felt inspired so it seemed like a really good partnership and I do think it drives the movie forward uh, at the point in the movie where it were I think you want to feel those emotions. And last question, would you guys ever be down to do a, a Namor movie or anything like that? Because I just, I, <laughs> when, I'm telling you, he killed it so, he killed it so much and I was like, I need more of his world, I need more of that. I mean, certainly this this won't be the last time you see Namor and, okay. and then Talo Kanil, so, you know, we'll see where you, where you catch him next, but he is fantastic. Tenoch did a fantastic